Hello and welcome everyone to Women's Speakers Association, WSA TV. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer, community builder for Women's Speakers Association, author of the book, Social Media Myths Busted, The Small Business Guide to Online Revenue, and your regular digital media and marketing strategist. Now, we have an incredible show for you today. It's all about taking on your personal power. What does that mean? How can you do that? So I want to go ahead and introduce you to our experts today and have them um, say hello, and then we'll get into the topic. So let's go ahead and say hi to Miss Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sarah Nation. This is Sarah Shabir, creator and founder of Freedom Coach Academy. Great to have you here, Sarah. You. In fact, we're going to talk about personal power and women claiming their first personal power. And I'd like to ask you, uh, Sarah, first, what advice do you have for women to do that? So one of the things that I advise to women is not to minimize or take for granted their accomplishments. And the reason for that is that, um, you know, we are very powerful and we do amazing things, but we think that that's the norm and it's actually not. So do not minimize your accomplishment. We are supposed to be doing what we're doing. And we, whatever we're doing right now or we have done in the past is amazing, it's inspiring, and it's transformational. Mm, imagine a world of women thinking they're amazing for what the things they are and doing in the world. And Suzanne, I, I think you might agree with that. And what advice do you have? I completely agree with what Sarah said. And, and I would add that I always encourage women to know who you are and what you want. When you can answer those questions, then you're better able to choose the relationships that are right for you and that will be happy and healthy for you. Mm. Okay, so when you know who you are, you accept your accomplishments, you're really starting to take on that personal power. And Michelle, what would you like to add? Thank you, Laura. I would love to add to that, that as we began to get on this merry-go-round that we call life, that it's about taking our power because for so often we are on, going up and down and we are uh, to and fro uh, on that merry-go-round. It goes up and down. Um, but it's really about seizing that power and taking that time to step off so that we can reevaluate where we're going and how we're going to get there. And how would you say women could step off the merry-go-round? Well, first of all, you have to recognize that you're on that merry-go-round and that you've probably seen this tree before and so there's some times when we have to just begin to say you know what I'm done and I'm going to step off and begin to to launch into our new adventure mm. so we've got awareness of our amazingness awareness of where we've been and that we see that the pattern happening to step off and then really defining and get, getting clear on who we are which is what you all said wow what if we had a world like that huh <laughs> wow so, so you all yeah, you all have um, come to this level of expertise to get this, you know, information in our hands. I want to know who you work with and what you do with them and um, what you're really passionate about doing with those, your, your clients. So Sarah, tell us. Well, basically, I work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs um, at heart, and especially women, because I know that Again, you know, we minimize our accomplishment. We think that uh, we cannot do enough when we actually have the power. If we know and learn how to use our feminine power, we can achieve amazing things. We can go really far. So it's a matter of learning how to use that feminine power to get us to where we're going to be. And I'm taking it you have some personal experience in that. And do you have a story of how you came to this work that you do? Oh, well, long story short, I lived for years in a very abusive relationship, and that kept me paralyzed for a, a long time and lived with depression. But I felt that, um, at some point I felt that I had no hope, but I didn't have any other choice. So I just decided to turn around, uh, take back my life, take charge of my life, and get out of that abusive relationship and reinvent myself, find out who I was. Obviously, I have to realign my values, what is it that I believe in. And thanks to uh, you know, great mentors and coaches, uh, I was able to get out of that and find what was my purpose and establish my mission and inspire and support other women that they are able to reinvent themselves as well and find their support, their identity, and be powerful. Hmm. 
Well, that is a powerful story. So thank you for taking on your personal power and um, finding those mentors. And now you mentor others. That's uh, amazing. So I'd like to also hear from Susanna. What, who do you work with? What do you do with them? I typically work with Laura, uh, proactive singles, men and women both, who are between mid-20s to mid-60s, so some have been married before, some have not, who are really ready to find love, whether that is self-love or the love of another, or ideally both, because without the foundation of self-love, we're not quite ready for that adventure of finding the love of another. No, oh, that's uh, okay. I think that's a golden nugget personal power tip, finding that <laughs> self-love. Thank you. We have a power team here. <laughs> um, from your stories of, you know, reaching out into the community, helping people with their self-love, transforming through mentorship, um, that is, those are the secrets, everyone, <laughs> to personal power. <laughs> And that, you know, we made it possible here on Women Speakers Association for women to come together and empower each other and to get their work out more visibly. And so I'd like to hear from each of you, what has um, this journey in Women Speakers Association, why did you even join and what do you, what do you love about it, Sarah? Well, first of all, my mission is, is to collaborate with women because I know that we can be stronger if we support each other and we share our skills. We can uh, eliminate our blocks together. We can find empowerment, courage, inspiration. That's definitely my mission. So being part of an organization that benefits and that I can uh, support like-minded women, I you know, and create leverage and expand our credibility and our influence uh, to inspire other women, why not? So I thought, you know, it's a great organization, so I definitely want to be part of it. Ah, oh, I think you summarized it so beautifully, leveraging the like-mindedness uh, of women who want to empower each other. I love it. That was the uh, mission of Women Speakers Association to be a collaborative force in the world uh, for women and positive change. If any of you out there are um, inspired by these women today that you've heard, I want to invite you to come over and join us. We have a free membership waiting for you at joinwsa.com. And if you really want to do what Susanna said and amplify your message, you'll want to get involved at the premier level, which is a screaming good deal. Again, it's at joinwsa.com. So this has been an amazing, empowering show. Thank you so much, all, all the women experts who have been here for your wisdom. Please look them up online. You see their website addresses below. Please feel free to reach out to them, and we are here for you. We'll be back with another episode of WSA TV. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great Thank day. You.